Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, a member of Queen Alexandra's Imperial Military Nursing Service describes hospital life in the days before and after the 1st of July 1916. By 1916, the wounded would be taken first to a casualty clearing station for initial treatment before being transferred to a base hospital. Sister Edie Appleton was born in 1877 in Deal in Kent. She trained at St Bartholomew's Hospital and joined Queen Alexandra's Imperial Military Nursing Service. She describes hospital life in the days before and after the 1st of July. June the 25th. The hospitals all along the line are slack, waiting for the push. Three more sisters were sent up to clearing stations. I wish one had been me, although in my sane moments I know it is selfish and all ought to have a turn. But, if my chance comes to go again, I shall rejoice. July the 3rd. Our much longed for advance has begun after many days of heavy bombardment. We launched an attack at 7.30 on Saturday morning. They went over in waves. We took the front-line trenches for a distance of 25 miles. We had a couple of trainloads of wounded down, 1,100 in all, 153 officers. Very dirty, and the London Scottish kilts were a sight to behold. July the 4th. Wounded. Hundreds upon hundreds. On stretchers, being carried, walking, covered from head to foot in well-caked mud. The rush and buzz of ambulances and motor buses is the only thing I can remember of yesterday. Horribly bad wounds, some crawling with maggots, some stinking and tense with gangrene. One poor lad had both eyes shot through, and there they were, lying smashed and all mixed up with the eyelashes. He was quite calm and very tired. He said, Shall I need an operation? I can't see anything. Poor boy, he never will. July the 6th. I give up description. It beats me. In ordinary times, we get a telegram from Abbeville, saying a train with so many on board has left and is coming to us. Then they stopped giving numbers and just said, full train. Edie Appleton was awarded the Royal Red Cross and an OBE. After the war, she worked at Bedford College, London. She married in 1926 and lived on the Isle of Wight until her death in 1958, aged 80. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we hear from Sister Edie Appleton's great-nephew, Dick Robinson.